you know what? We within the hip hop community got to come to a time where sometimes we got to admit we were wrong. Now, after looking at the interview that I posted that Ja Rule did, I think around the time he was putting out blood in my eye, where he was discussing the reasons behind the fallouts between DMX and Jay Z. I got to say this, y'all. Ja Rule was right. Ja Rule was right, man. And the reason why we didn't take Ja Rule's side was because we loved DMX, man. DMX was just the realest nigga out there, man. DMX was the was the streets. DMX was that dude. D, man, we can't go against DMX for Ja. Even though right or wrong, we stood with X, man. <laughs> but looking at it now, X was wrong, man. And J was wrong, too. What it really was, they were a little salty. They were salty that Ja Rule, who was considered the little brother at the group, in comparison to X and J, who were titans, he ended up being the face of black radio when he started coming into his own lane. Now, I didn't really like a lot of that shit. I didn't really buy any Ja Rule albums, like, I, but you can't front on the singles. When he grew his hair out, then he started doing more harmonizing. And he had to find his niche because, you know, Vini Vini Vici, which is my favorite Ja Rule project, that was dope. But a lot of people say he tried to sound too much like X. He tried to sound too much like Pac. So he switched it up on him. And I'm just going to say, man, you had to live it in real time. Ja Rule ran radio, bro. From 2000 to 2002, Ja Rule ran radio. Now, DMX, after Party Up, then he dropped his next album. He started focusing more on movies. And the following album, The Great Depression, it didn't really hit like that, even though it was a good album. But considering when he was coming back, Ja Rule was already putting his foot in the game. When he put out that put it on me, that was it. <laughs> oh, I be without you. Baby, girl, put it on me. When he put that out, that was it. So when X came out, he came out with that fire. Um, I love that Who We Be. That was a dope ass song, though. But the, in this game, you all hit you. Lightning sometimes don't strike two or three times. And with X's case, it wasn't competing with Jai's numbers. And Jay-Z as well. Jay-Z, you know, he was doing his thing. But Ja Rule was the face of radio, man. We couldn't go anywhere without hearing Ja Rule or Ashanti or any of them for that matter. And you could tell it made X feel a sort of way because it made J feel a sort of way because what made me believe that he was telling the truth was when they did the, it, when he did the um, It's Murder video where Ja was like, yo, come on down to the shoot, man. Like, come on, do a shoot the video for me. Help me out a little bit, you know, because we probably murder ain't. X didn't want to do it and Jay didn't do it. So he just did a video on his own. And soon as he started getting getting bigger, I think the Titans didn't like that. Like, you know, I only think Jay even like, you know, if you listen to the Watcher too, Jay was throwing shots at Murder Inc. When he's talking about all these fake gangsters and pranksters throwing twisting their fingers, that was the Murder Inc. Because you really look at that video that they did with Crooked Eye, Ashanti, the Mary Jane video. A lot of them were doing that shit. So, Jay-Z wasn't really rocking with them no more. Plus, on top of that, Ethan put, Ethan put him out the pasture for a little while because he was trying to find himself. But, that's what it was, man. I mean, we... We loved DMX, though. And at the time, we loved Jay-Z. Because, you know, they were the bigger names. And DMX was more relatable to the niggas. He couldn't do nothing wrong. But he was wrong on this end. And even when the interview that Ja Rule did um, on Hot 97, where he called himself Pac, I think that's where he lost the people. He had everybody. Like, he had everybody agreeing with him when it came to how he handled the situation with X to a degree. But when he called himself Pop, 
he lost a lot of people, man. And then 50 Cent was able to use that to his advantage. And then came Eminem, and the rest was history. But, yeah, Ja Rule came in. He, he, it, what it was, he was the third string of the, of the, of the Murder, Inc. crew. So, when he started getting his own weight up, they didn't want... They, they felt a little salty, but ain't nobody ever helped them. So, that's what happened on that end, because you really notice. They did no collabs no more after that. None. After 99, there was no more collabs with Ja, J, or X at all. They all was in their separate pages. But... That's what happened, man. We apologize to Ja Rule. <laughs> we just love DMX, rest in peace. And, you know, the people just like like Jay-Z music a little bit more, man. But we got to stand with what's right here. We know we were wrong here. So, man, we apologize to Ja Rule. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think. Subscribe to the like button. Peace out, y'all.